Jano Star. Me say no, bro. But we burn a lot of split You're my general Your name forever lit Show the world stands You're always dry food Always humble to the mouth So don't believe your food Memories inside Have me too many years Try to me I beg you Be my brother please Make him rise like Lazarus We need to fulfill this purpose See what I mean No for them I look for them No understand the pain I feel From me get the news Tell me tell me And it should be all of us' responsibility. Everybody has to Ryan dead. Ryan are dead. But the team over there said Ryan will never die. I will always remember it. Ryan is all of us. And more. Mama and Papa. I know what about his brother Jackson and sister Jackson. That's who Ryan is. The two of them rolling at one. That's why he will always be in our own memory. Because we roll the two of them in a one. In principle. To notice the how Ryan go about his daily duties or job, even as a father. I think a lot of us 
more of the young men can be a Ryan. Ryan is more than a name. Like Ryan is I say, say, the young people there, let me tell you this. The lifespan is very short. So what you do within this time, do it well. And come up. Roll into one. And in order to replace Ryan, is to be a Ryan. And show each other love. Love and key. It's not about space. It's about the vibration of love. Right? What's love? And his love. How does that get it? Talk all over. Huh? Family members, which we all are. It's not going to work out. Remember me telling you that. That's something promise. It's not going to work out. Relatives, friends, brothers and sisters, well wishers, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I am happy this morning that I have life and I have a connection with Jesus Christ. That is the reason why I can greet you this way. It is not easy, but as the Bible says, and we all know that it is basic instruction before leaving earth. It declares that in all things we should give thanks. As again I said, it's not easy. But I have to give thanks. So, I want to share a verse of a song. Because more than the song, it's understanding of. Of course, we're in a dead tongue, we have to understand. Of course, it's a happy way. And I'm not glad because it's a good thing. Okay? Oh, when I need you up in heaven, oh, when I meet, meet, meet you up in heaven, up there will shine.
or welding plant of his uncle. He was a hard worker who took pride in a job well done. You know, all of us know about the Egyptians because we know about Pharaoh holding them down in Egypt for a while. And these people had a lot of beliefs. And one of their ancient beliefs goes like this. That upon death, they would be asked two questions. And your answers, the answer that you give, would determine whether or not you would continue into the afterlife. The first question was, did you find joy? If yes, the second was, did you bring joy to others? Royan would have answered these two questions with a firm yes. Because for one, he enjoyed life to the fullest. And yes, 
he did, he did bring joy to others. This was evident in the way he motivated his sister Simone and other youngsters, and even the sheer joy he brought when he cooked for everyone in the house on Mother's Day and other special days. My friends, the most painful goodbyes are the ones that were never said and never explained. Mother's Day 2023 would have been the last time he cooked for the family and spent time with them. Everyone was happy and they never said goodbye. It was a see you later. However, fate dictated otherwise. If Ryan could speak to us now, he would probably be saying these words penned by a certain Margaret Mia. To the living, I am gone. To the sorrowful, I will never return. To the angry, I was cheated. But to the happy, I am at peace. And to the faithful, I have never left. Somebody say Brian is dead. I cannot speak, but I can listen. I cannot be seen, but I can be heard. So as you stand upon a shore gazing at the beautiful sea, and as you look upon a flower and admire its simplicity, remember me. Remember me in your heart, your thoughts and your memories of the times we loved, the times we cried, the times we fought, the times we laughed. For if you always think of me, I will never have gone. So Merle, Simone, Shanique, Diana, uncles, aunts, cousins, can call all the uncles' names and the aunties, babies, cousins, darlings and sweethearts, cherish the good times you have had with Ryan as you keep him close to your hearts. Remember, memories are things which death cannot touch. And he's saying to you, I'd like the memory of me to be a happy one. I'd like to leave an afterglow of smiles when, when life is done. I'd like to leave an echo whispering softly down the ways of happy times and laughing times and bright and sunny days. I like the tears of those who grieve, Simone, Merle, Dill, to dry before the sun, of happy memories that I leave as I go into the beyond. Rest well, Ryan, rest well. Oh God, the creator of the universe knows all things. To all the young people, all the persons present here, remember now your creator in the days of your youth. Remember him. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Before I do my little tribute, I just feel like singing this song. I don't want to be left behind when the Lord shall Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Praise him another time. Praise the Lord. Um, a little tribute for my little brother Ryan. Regal was my brother because he stood up to his responsibilities in our family. Oh, original, never a carbon copy, as you never try to be anyone but you. Why? Youthful. You were the life of the party, vibrant and hardworking. A. Ambitious. My brother always aimed for the best in all he did. A. Ambitious. My brother always did. Sorry. A. Ambitious. My brother always aimed for the best in all he did. N. A nation builder. Brother, you were so generous, humble, neat, and disciplined. A nation builder because you were our hero. The day I got the news, I fell apart. Ryan, you honestly took a piece of my heart. Got wrenching, pain I felt inside. My soul screamed in agony knowing I did not get to say goodbye. You left us without warning. It was so early in the morning. God, so fast. All that is left are memories of the past. I am finding it hard to accept that you are gone. Nothing now will ever be the norm. You are loved by so many. You might not have known, but in all your heart, it was where it is gone. You touched the lives of so many. And as such, we will miss you so much. You will forever be a son, a brother, a dad, an uncle, a friend. Rest in peace, my dear brother. I will miss your smile, although I might cry, your stories live on. I know it's true, but they say God only takes the best. I thank you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I this pain I'm riding, they said it's leading to a place where we never die.
second lesson is taken from 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 13 to 18. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will bring God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. 18 and last. Wherefore, comfort one another. This is the word of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Montego Bay Community, Carl Brown, and Standard Samantha Men, Sir Knox College. So you just come in that order for me, please. Bless the Lord. Good afternoon, everyone. Why so many sad faces? Why so many sad faces? Can I hear me? Can I hear me? Why? Why so many sad faces? Why so many sad faces? Remember, I know there's a person that you should want. Enjoy. My friend Williamson. Who don't want to see nobody cry today? You would have asked, why are you crying? It's just an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> so, today we are members of the Jamaica Defense Force from the Maritime Air and Cyber Command, where we have to work the last. And today we have two children. We have a poem and a children that we will pray for. Our Father knows what's best for us, so why should we complain? We always want the, sun, the sunshine, but he knows there must be rain. We love the sound of laughter and the merriment of cheer, but our hearts would lose its tenderness if we never shed a tear. Our Father tests us often with suffering and with sorrow. He tests us not to... His warmth, kindness, and unwavering support touched the lives of all who had the privilege of doing it. His departure leaves a void that cannot be filled. This void serves as a painful reminder of the profound impact 
he had on our lives. In his time with us, he had taught us the true meaning of friendship, camaraderie, my love, to live with love, kindness, and gratitude, to cherish every moment and every person we hold dear to our hearts. Today, we say our goodbyes, but we also celebrate the beautiful life that Ryan lived. He may be gone, but his spirit will forever shine brightly in our hearts. Farewell, my beloved friend, colleague, and cousin. May you find eternal peace. May your soul rest in the embrace of love and serenity. On behalf of the members of the Jamaica Defense Force, Maritime Air and Cyber Command, rest well, Brian, your truly. About the many questions that we are asking, questions upon questions. Why so soon? Why so early? Why Ryan? But as the songwriter said, further along we know all about it. Further along we'll understand why. And I encourage the family members, cheer up my brothers and sisters, live in the sunshine. We'll understand it all by and by. There's another song that says, does Jesus really care? Why did Jesus let this happen? Eh? But the song man said, oh yes, he cares. His heart is touched with all griefs. And so today I encourage us, let us stay strong. Stay strong family members. The Lord is with you and he's uh, guarding you and he's protecting you. And I encourage us as youngsters. Let us remember the Lord Jesus Christ in the days of our youth. That when the evil days draw nigh, when he will say, I have no pleasure in him. It is said that man that is born of a woman is full of troubles and sorrows and have but a short time to live. Cheer up sisters. Cheer up brothers. God bless you. In the time that you gave me, did I give all I could give? Did I love all I could love? Did I leave all I could leave? Was my faith?
you know, we're left here to deal with it. You know, that's not something you could ever, in your wildest dreams, imagine. And you know, ever since she told me that the funeral was today, and I had three different functions to attend, and this is my first, and uh, you know, it's hard, because each time I try to come up with something to say, to type on my phone, you know, I can't do it because, you know, I never met the man. I never knew him personally. But what do you say when, through his sister, you know, you think of what kind of person he is? And I imagine if he's anything like Simone, then you can understand why it is hard to, to put words together. And I see a familiar face, my past teacher from Nonsense Graham. Greetings, man. So, you know, I'm not much of a singer, but I'll tell you, I'll try something for you today. Don't laugh at me. Don't put me on TikTok. But I'll do my best. All right? And this is for the family. Why should I feel this courage? And why should the shadows come? Why should my heart And long for heaven and hope.
For his mom, she remembered him as her sweetest boy who named her Paul. His father remembered Ryan as the perfect son, a child that every father would love to have. He was disciplined and obedient. In love, Kieran and Shirley had no boundaries. To his five siblings, he was the best brother. His sisters were following and being protective, caring and loving, always sharing stories that left an impactful lesson. He always had their best interests at heart, encouraging them to go to school before everything else. For Simone, his eldest sister, her brother was her right hand, her driver and her mentor. In problems, she could always rely on him. Most of all, he was a good chef who assisted her with cooking when he was in the country. Earlier times, Simone further recalled Ryan being chubby from her mom, Carmel Parrish. He was always innovative from making box trucks and river boat from cutting down her father's banana trees. She assisted him while her mother was away on Saturday. Ryan was fearless and he was the smallest among them. And everywhere he thought he was, he was the first to test it. He loved the river. When the river overflowed its banks, that was his favorite time to swim. Ryan, Jay, and Marky would then challenge the river by jumping in from Alston Bridge and swimming to exit at Bar Bridge St. Anne. To them, this was fun, but they knew no danger. Like everyone else, they used to have bush cooking during the summer. Transformation from Martha to immortality. We all know the story well of Nicodemus. Amen. Nicodemus was a man of terrible time. My praying my spirit that somebody will say, I accept Jesus Christ. Amen. At the very day that Ryan, Amen. That Ryan's. Amen, homegoing servants.
Let us remember him soaring on the wings of the dawn. All those who are here today, we as family use this evening to say thanks, 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 thanks to everyone for making this day a success that it is. And let us see this moment that you will touch their hearts and touch their minds. Help them to understand and to be hopeful that in these tragic circumstances, they still have to live on. So will you give them the strength and the fortitude. Undergird them, my God, with your mighty power, for only you can do so perfectly. We give them to you at this moment. Those who are near and those who are far, we ask you, Lord, you will touch them with a mighty touch so that they too will experience you in a different way. It's hard many times to understand the intricacies of life, but thou art a God who is able to speak to man, to speak to situations, and to give them the kind of comfort now as they need it most. <laughs>